Ontario Tech University is established in 2002. Uh, we are uh, standing in front of uh, the secondary campus of Ontario Tech University. It is in uh, downtown Oshawa and uh, its main campus is uh, located in the, in the northern part of Oshawa and it is built in four, on uh, 400 acres of uh, land and this university is a research, uh, uh, so this university is public research based university. Now we are inside the Ontario Tech University, you can see the board behind me. It is showing that it is office of the registrar and uh, they so deal with student accounts, financial and, and OSAP and international studies. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, school of uh, the graduate and the postdoctoral uh, uh, studies also, uh, you can see at this place. In the school of graduate and uh, are a post uh, and postdoctoral studies, they run they run master's program, uh, so they run PhDs, uh, they, run, uh, uh, they run graduate diplomas, and they also run uh, a postdoctoral fellowships. At Ontario Tech University, they run different uh, other programs, business and accounting, information technology, and they run a program on uh, energy system and uh, nuclear science. So now I'm inside uh, inside the classroom of uh, Ontario Tech uh, Ontario Tech University. It is one of the lecture hall. You can have a look. They have uh, the entire digital display, and uh, on both the sides, so students can uh, to, to can communicate. They can see easily. At Ontario Tech University, you can great uh, innovations are going on uh, because they have the, they have created innovative labs. So this is software systems research lab. Now we are inside uh, software. Now we are inside software system lab. You can see the students uh, are given projects, uh, so they can work independently on the project or they can work in groups. So they have to have to submit the project, and on the basis of those projects, they are their performance is evaluated and they are given grades. So to give experiential learning to the student, they have, they have designed electronics design lab for the student. You can have a look. They, they have done ample arrangement. They have kept instruments. So students can, the student can do their practicals. You can do everything in detail. Inside the, the mechatronic lab of uh, Ontario Tech University. So, so, so I'm going inside. You can have a look. How the things are going on? Hi, how are so, you? so if you can explain what is the what is all about? Yes, sure. Uh, this is a, an autonomous excavator, and its goal is to do the excavation autom autonomously without any human help. So, what it's gonna do is to uh, get some soil and yeah, digging in a shape that is uh, required. And right yeah, now it is in, not, yeah, the camera is not mounted here, but we have a plan to uh, uh, install a 3D depth camera which gets the point cloud information and gives to the main controller. And after that, these three actuators will get actuated accordingly to dig the portion of the soil. And the extended version of that is that, that they are, let's suppose, in the down of the soil, there are drainage pipe or uh, drainage pipe. So uh, there is sensors in this bucket test, so it can detect the uh, uh, the pipes depth as well. That how much is in the depth of soil, so that the excavator will not detect the pipe portion, and there is no leakage type of stuff. Oh, good, good. It's really good. Thank you. So now I am in front of Internet of uh, Research Lab. In short, we, we call it IoT Research Lab. I am going uh, inside uh, Internet of Things, Internet of Things uh, Research Lab. I have a student and uh, student, uh, uh, excuse me, can you please tell how you work over here? 
Yeah, so I'm a PhD student here. I uh, have been working in the lab almost for three years. Uh, we usually work on uh, topics in traffic, in healthcare, and different area that uh, involve IoT sensors, all these technology to collect data and to predict, you know, the future value based on which domain we are working on. Well, it's good, good. Mm, thank you. in front of uh, the advanced uh, advanced networking technologies and uh, security research lab so now we are inside uh, in inside the networking and security lab of uh, ontario tech university i have a student uh, if you can explain me how do you work in these labs um, actually, uh, right now this is the networking lab and uh, there are three supervisors that support this lab. Uh, as you would see, uh, there are not too many students in here, but before we had like many students that working in network security. Uh, this um, uh, thing, the stuff that you would see, it's connecting a uh, game uh, to network, like how you can uh, see yourself in game and it's for like one master student. And uh, we are working in like um, in network. How you can uh, detect like some bugs that you have in the network. How you can uh, like identify uh, some bugs that you have um, through like some uh, machine learning algorithms. And uh, even my work now is working about. Um, I'm I'm working for vehicular network. Like how you can connect the um, uh, vehicles in the network and how you can allocate some resources. Oh, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you.